to the Xbox Live. All right, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Cheap Drinks and Cheat Codes as I ease in the music here. Getting all synth wave. Episode 31. Darn Phoenix. Thanks, bro. Hey, you. Right off the bat. Thanks, Kong. I, I don't know what happened. Just subscribe. Oh, shit, man. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Whose mom? Whose mom just made an account? Whose mom just used their Amazon Prime? Yeah. It's probably my mom. So. For everybody that's watching live and everybody that's watching on YouTube, we're going over some shit that happened this week. We're going over a lot of Xbox stuff, and we're going to talk about this little thing that happened today. Mm -hmm. The Ubisoft Forward. We'll if you missed it, it then yeah. you did better than we did. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I like your shirt, Phil. It's nice. Thanks. Me too. That's what I said. <laughs> If, if uh, you've been watching for 31 episodes now, my camera seems to keep moving. Well, it does. Again. Yeah, it <laughs> literally gets higher and like more to the yeah. side. Eventually, it's just going to do a full rotation. And if you just play all of Phil's clips, it'll be like it's a full like 360 song. around him. That, that is what I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but funny. all right, let's, let's get right into this, this nitty gritty. If you guys were uh, paying attention at all in the last couple days, um, we slowly got enough leaks to force Xbox to make official announcements. Um, basically, shout out, is what. Shout happened. out to Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah hashtag, hashtag. Pr the meme was the best, though. Like that, yeah. that was great. Uh, I loved it. So we got official Xbox Series X, S Xbox Series S. I'm gonna struggle with that for oh, the rest yeah. of my life. Um, and we got the dates. Both of the consoles launched November 10th. Uh, the X is 500. The S is 300. That's that's it. That's, that's I'm not it. gonna be like forty nine ninety nine. Like I, that's yeah. hard, we're, we're gonna segue real quick. I solved the change crisis the other day. I was like, just make everything an even amount. <laughs> Don't have change exist, and then there's no change crisis. This game, this console could cost five hundred. No cents. No no cents should exist. All right, segue. We're back. Right, <laughs> you're welcome. I, Josh, I, I, Josh for president. Yeah. I'm not gonna that would work. But the I'm minute somebody go. goes up and like, I want an Xbox, and they see a 499 Xbox or a 500 Xbox, they're yeah. gonna go. For <laughs> I tell they're gonna yeah. they're not spend the extra dollar. Yeah, we're not gonna go that far. Really? That's I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, people, uh, people will do it. You can pre-order this motherfucker uh, September 22nd, which is uh, like two weeks from now. So that's yeah. cool. Uh, Xbox is going to have their own um, like financing options. I think it was like twenty four ninety nine or like thirty something ninety nine or something like that. Uh, if you you know don't want to have like a credit card or something, you can go through Xbox and do that kind of thing, um, which is gonna be interesting. It's thirty four ninety nine. But what do y'all think? Just off that, we're gonna hit a couple things here. But off the initial like YOLO announcement, we'll just hit cost first, and then we'll go specs, and then we'll go we'll make fun of the skillet and okay. all that stuff. Yeah. I I. I this is what all of us shot at the minute they were yeah. like, yeah, you know, Series X. Here comes the $500 system. Here comes a holiday release. Like, this yeah. is what we shot at immediately and the date immediately. Yep. So I'm, like, not the least bit surprised in any of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna toot toot. <laughs> like my horn. But I, I definitely said second week in November, uh, which gives two weeks before Black Friday, which is just right. enough time to get more units out. Um, my hope, because I'm on vacation two weeks before uh, November 10th, I hope Sony goes two weeks sooner so that I'll be on vacation and give me a PS5. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the price the price seems right. I mean, if, if it's only $100 more than last gen consoles. I'm not crazy. They were, they were 400 Right. Yeah. 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 So it's not no, like no, no, no. Um, four hundred for the Series 500. X. The Xbox oh, was one. It? Is what, yeah, it's what shot it in the foot is that it was a hundred. Yeah, because it came with the it came with the camera. Facts. Yeah, okay. yeah it came so, with the connect that immediately got trashed. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So it's it's arguably the same. Or if you you know for the PlayStation, it's a hundred dollars more. The specs are there. Um, 
we can look down and look at the differences. There's there's the flops, the cores. Yeah. Uh, the thing that I don't like is the one is this 500 gigs. That's literally Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto, mm -hmm. and you're toast. Like you're not playing anything else. I um, I think the crazy thing, yo, like th this is all hindsight, but now that we know the specs of it, could you imagine how badly Xbox would have beat PS4 if they'd have done a two terabyte SSD on the big one and a one terabyte on the small one? Oh yeah. They'd have yeah, rocked they would have, them. Yeah. For they would have had being, to raise that price. For though. this being the new, the new hyper console, 500 isn't is not yeah. 500 not enough. Yeah. Well. It's not. Fuck. Well, it's not enough. You want them to charge you more? You can pay more if you want, Justin. I mean, I don't know. If no, you five hundred gigs I, or what? If I'm oh, I'm I thought you were talking about the money. I thought you were talking about the money. I want to pay more. Yeah, I was like, you can I want an eight hundred dollar console, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Five hundred. Five hundred is nothing. Because the um, PS3 had a five hundred gig option. Am I not all, wrong? Uh, like later PS3. in its life cycle. Yeah. Later in its yeah, life. Yeah, but still. So. Two previous gens ago was already coming out with a 500 gig model, yeah. and then now we're two gens forward, and you're still like, yeah, 500 gigs, that, that's enough. But it's Justin, these are in M there. these are NVMe SSD, and those were terabyte. But that's still like regular HHDs. Games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how fast it is; if it only holds two games at a lightning speed, you'll be able to uninstall games. and reinstall games lightning speed. That must be. That's the catch. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the, the game I want to play. Uninstall and reinstalling all my games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the, obviously, the biggest caveat is the 1440p uh, up to 120 frames on the S. The other one does 4K, obviously. Um, I am a super tech person. I usually get the best of all the things in life if I can't afford it, which you know it is what it is. 1440p is not even that bad. Uh, like, yeah. like I was justifying this to people. Like people were like trying to roast it, and I was like, "Yo, I know so many people, Casey." she would not care like if i i've caught her watching a dvd the other day like <laughs> she doesn't care like if some people won't be like i need to play on 4k uh, you know what i mean it just so that's, that's i think that's fine so, i think uh, i so, think the big problem is that what people who are in that dollar range yeah what fucking screen are they playing on that's 1440p well, yeah, I mean, you're just going to play it on just a not 4K TV. But I also, in, in 4K's defense, you, know, you can get, like, a like I bought a, a TV for my room for, like, 200 bucks. That's 4K. So, <laughs> it, a lot of things do 4K these days. I like that subtle slur. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know what you're thinking. We, we've had many, many talks about some bullshit-ass TVs we sell at work. And you oh, went well, out yeah, and bought yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the one I bought, it's not that bad. It? It was, uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. Um, it's from my bedroom. I'm just watching Futurama before I go to sleep. Um, I lost my train of thought now. Mess me up. Oh. You, yeah, Phil. I'm just saying, you can get 4K TVs for a lot cheaper now than yeah. you could before. Uh, my only thing about this is, okay, they have this Series X, you know, the biggest thing in console gaming since Slight Spread or whatever. Since the NES, I'll <laughs> say. Um, this Series S that looks like a speaker, no disk drive. Um, if you, I, I don't know if, we're, if, we're, if we've shown the specs, we haven't done that yet. They're, they're on the screen. Yeah, the specs screen. are on the screen right now. Like it's, I'm pretty sure the Xbox One X is more powerful than this thing. And a when little this bit. New console yeah. launches, that thing should drop in price. Why would you even bother? Like that's my entire thing about yeah. like this whole. Series S was going to be less powerful. What is the point? I still have no clue. It's it's a stream. But Justin hit it up. Justin MVP with that home run hit. It's a Game Pass box. It's a Game Pass yeah. box. Um, but it's it's best. Best. I mean that's fine. You can still get Game Pass on an Xbox One X. That's going to probably be around the same price after this thing launches and play at 4K. Yeah, and, I think the. And, but so, it, yeah. I it's they're following the same route as like an it's like an apple device sure it's the same sir it's the same as last year's model but it's this year's new number i mean the thing is, i think <laughs> it's <laughs> well i get that but i think this is less powerful than the xbox well one no no so real quick well, just to, to go off that since you said it again the it the latest xbox one x i think it is that's a, the late the newest one it 
What's wait? What's the newest one called? The Xbox, Xbox One X. X. Xbox one X. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I had to make sure. There's too many. Too much. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, they come out too many. It it's six flops, I believe. But mm. the, the so it's more it's, floppies. But yeah. the big thing is the SSD. The cores can the, it can tell it to do more things at once. The cooling system's better. So it has other things that help it. But uh, technically, if you're talking like horsepower, it is slower than their current gen thing. But it you know I. I do agree. I want to. I'm trying to be positive and say the good things about the thing. But yo, if you have 300 to drop, it's just like the switch and the switch light. If you're already about to drop cash, save that extra 200 and just get the X. Yeah, right. Exactly. One X plus. I don't know what the part it's called. Get yeah. Get get one of these. I, I even say save an extra. Uh, what is it? Grand. And then yeah. try the 3090. <laughs> yeah. And just have the graphics card, but no PC. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> But, your old Xbox. <laughs> yeah, because I, I want to say, yeah, get the S, you know, 300 bucks. You, you're playing games faster. Load time's crazy. Da, 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 new controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at that point, it's I do think it's like, yeah, just save the 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, wait a month or two and then just get the new, the better console. Like, I'm trying to think of that niche. Especially um, since there are no big launch titles. Well, why, that, why have these two things if there's not like this, you know, Halo Infinite or anything? Yeah, well, you, you did say that. And I, I argue with some people at work today. I think this is a brilliant move. Some say it's desperation. I think it's brilliant that we, we can pronounce it now. Xbox did partner with Assassin's Creed to get the release date moved forward mm -hmm. to be a launch, not a launch exclusive, but it is launching with the Xbox. Title. Yeah. Okay, so, so you can play Assassin's Creed <laughs> so, on your Xbox yeah. One S. Or yeah. you could just play it on your Xbox One X at 4K. What what would you rather I'm with do? you? I'm with you. I mean, it just a, no. I'm I'm just trying to be. So, uh, in no, the, they're in hitting the, the head of the hammer for the people that don't already have an Xbox One. Yeah, I, okay. yeah like yes, If you're so trying to get the game pass to, to get people to come over, but then they're gonna go for the Series X. They're not gonna be like, I yeah. want this less powerful thing. Yeah, I see where you're coming. Sense. I see where you're coming from, but imagine like you have a kid. He's like 12, yeah, 13, they're, they're 14. They're playing on they're playing on the Dude, family factor. And he one of, is playing the best there is. No, if if I I could easily <laughs> see when I was a kid, my parents were like, yo, here's this, here's Game Pass. If you want any other games, you pay for them yourself. Yeah, Boom. that's exactly what I would. You think. know what I'm saying? Because kids don't care. Kids are like, you got games on your phone. They don't know what 4K is. They're not gonna go, why is the screen bad? <laughs> Like they my don't kids gonna be playing that top your row right here. You're, you're not gonna let your kid touch any of that. Let's first. Of all, <laughs> you don't you know, put your finger on my disc. He's gonna hold it like this. He's gonna grab the disc and try Yo. to move it. Your head, first your head's right gonna explode. All cartridges, dude. You can't hurt oh, those. Yeah. He's gonna go to bowl in it. Yeah, <laughs> gonna he's gonna be out in the sandbox no. picking up shit with all him. All I have to do is down, find the ROM online and I can just play it off <laughs> an SD card. Fit Cheeto dust inside your cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. But what what do we think of this Assassin's Creed move up? So I, I think it's brilliant. It is a little yeah. desperate because they, they originally it was supposed they, to be they, Halo. They needed something. Cause they I'm had okay nothing. with it. Yeah, I I'm mean, cool with it. It better be finished, and it better work if they're gonna push it forward just for a launch on Xbox. Well, I yeah. feel like it was already done. They pushed it back to work with Sony because Sony didn't have their date for their new system, and I think Microsoft just went, you know, their their I thing got only back. I mean, it's not that it's hard to like reskin the last game and just, you know. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, again, Brandon's not wrong again. <laughs> yeah, but to what Phoenix said, dude, it's been an ongoing struggle in my life to remember these Xbox title names because they all seem the same to me every yeah. time. I'm like, uh, Xbox, the new one. I don't know. Um, I'm excited because it's a week sooner. It's cool for Ubisoft because they get more money because I'm sure Xbox hit them with a cool, like, fat stack. Just want, Yo, come out, oh, come out a week sooner. Um, it's I think it's brilliant by Xbox because it's like, you know, hey, when you ain't got no games coming out, get some. Yeah. Um, I, I like it a lot, but uh, let's let's shoot on back to just regular Xbox stuff. Actually, something I want to say about it anyway. Um, I'm nervous that I, I feel like Microsoft was forced into releasing a lot of stuff because of leaks. Um, but I'm also curious at that $500 price point if they're undercutting Sony enough. Like, I, I'm it makes me nervous that the PS5 is about to come out at six, and they're like they they dropped them at five. You know what I mean? I I like, feel like it's coming out at five. I feel like Sony's gonna drop at five. 
a lot. Well, here's the thing. I've I've seen. I've literally done so much research. No one thinks. Everyone thinks they already have their numbers, and it's not. Mm -hmm. They don't think Sony's gonna now change that number. So if Sony's had their number at five fifty and their disc list at five, they're not gonna then drop fifty more dollars because they already lose like twenty bucks a console. If you look at the past consoles, they already lose twenty thirty bucks a console. They don't make money on consoles, mm -hmm. so I can't see them dropping it even more. And now it's more than seventy dollars a console. There's no fucking way you can survive making you know, that shit. Yeah, it's like a laptop. Um. But that's that's neither here nor there. But um, cheers, cheers. Uh, more. They always, yeah. could, they, they always could drop the price because they were big. Like E3 when the Xbox One was announced, they roasted that part. That was amazing. That was the like, funniest thing. There ever. there were patents that were similar to like Xboxes, like you know not being able to trade games and stuff. And then like so and so they're like, is, is Sony going to do the same thing? And they came out and they were like, no, we're not going to do that. They probably decided right then and there to shoot Microsoft in the foot because of it. So they could be like, okay, they dropped the price. Now it's our time to throw in there and make sure that we get all of the people coming to us because we're a yeah. little cheaper. It's a possibility. Yeah. So overall, I'm excited. I'm just excited to get talk about like we've been speculating it for a bazillion years. Um, in ending, at least my opinion, I get its sub essences. The the S like there's. There's niche situations, but there's a lot of them. Kids, um, Game Pass box, but I 100% agree with everything Phil said. It all makes sense. And if you're, yeah, if you're gonna, if you're an adult gamer, you play a lot of games, or you're just interested in the market, you might as well save your 200 bucks. That's how I, it, I definitely agree. And that's my my other thing is that a launch should not be about those. It's it's gonna be the people that are waiting for it, not just the kids that maybe get it at christmas but at this time they're not going to be like they're normally what you know, what your, christmas your, your, yeah your parents are you know if you're a big gamer and this is what you want for christmas they're going to get you the newest one type of thing yeah. um other than that you're going to wait so the, the thing of having this less powerful one being at launch that's what makes no sense to me i'm fine with it coming down the road just like the xbox one sad um the all digital one that came out later on it didn't it wasn't yeah. a launch thing it wasn't something they were thinking about it until now but it's something that was extra yeah. that's cool at launch it should just be your full throttle punch because yeah. the people that are looking at it are the ones that are wait really waiting for it i just i, don't, I think yeah the ones you're going to find at the store after launch are going to be these xbox series s's and Mostly. they're just not going to move from what I've heard, it, everyone's calling it brilliant, but we'll, we'll see. I, I, I don't see it. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree 50-50. Like, I, I see it from both perspectives, but who knows? Uh, and more news for Xbox. Um, EA Play is going to be free, uh, included in Game Pass, not just free. Uh, so at no extra cost. So you, if you can just, you know, have your Game Pass, and you'll immediately have EA Play, which is a bunch of the Battlefields, the um, Dragon Age, Titanfall. <laughs> it's pretty much EA Play. Yeah, it's it's not all of it. It's not like you're not getting the latest Madden. Uh, so you know they don't they don't they don't give you everything. Uh, yeah, but it's it's, it's a good library of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's a good library of stuff to just be free and included. So that's cool. Uh, normally it's five bucks a month, I think. Uh, so hey, more things for more people. Uh, and and also I, I this isn't in the docs. I just I forgot to add this earlier. Uh, Game Pass uh, for <laughs> Xbox for PC is going uh, to ten dollars a month starting next week. Uh, next for PC Thursday by itself. For PC, yep. Yep. So, if you have it on PC, it is going to be a little bit more expensive if you're messing with it, you know. So, so yeah, you posted that. So. There, there is a way to get the Game Pass for PC for like a dollar for like three years. I don't know how to do it, Ooh, but I've seen people posting about it. Phil like has. once I saw that, I. Or you just work so there for a little bit. Saying, like, I got it for PC, one dollar for three years. It's like, they probably just made a bunch of fucking accounts. and Yeah. Probably. But uh, the, one the last little bit of Xbox news here, if you want to switch your own over, is what we have so far for us. Why not for the Xbox? Um, so they did get they did get two new good ones. You got the Gears Tactics, which was just a PC game before. Um, which is, if you're not familiar, it's literally XCOM in the Gears universe. Um, which is something I'm interested in playing. I just haven't had time to buy it. Not a console game, though? I mean, 
I don't know. I, I, I guess turn base isn't as bad. Yeah, because you don't have to like. Do it. It's not like an RTS where yeah, I don't know how on the planet Earth. Um, but XCOM and I've seen a lot of like things on Reddit for like Wasteland, for example. People play it on consoles. So, uh. But you got the Valhalla, you got Gears Taxic, you, uh, you got Destiny Two, the the update Beyond Light, Tetris, uh, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. So far, those are the games that are like coming out boom right away. Um, it also would have been Halo, but ye. So <laughs> they, uh, they make well, that monkey. They got yeah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> the monkey. Um, so in in closing, for all the Xbox news coming out, like what, what do y'all want to add? Another yes, uh, another thing with that launch, um, mm. you're gonna have Cyberpunk 2077 right there. Oh, isn't it a week later? It's right? uh, the 19th, I mean, the 17th. Oh, it's the 17th. Okay, my bad. So, so it's still a week later, yeah. Yeah, you, you're bad. gonna have, you'll have it, and yeah. maybe you wait a little bit, and then bam. Three or four, yes. Yeah. And the medium. Ooh, that does look good. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm trying to think, like, sum up the rest of my thoughts. I'm excited. I'm not getting either of those Xbox like, consoles. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm not picking up either um, one. But uh, it, there's just cool. no point. I'm, I'm just excited. I, I love new console generations. The tech should be great. Um, you know, it's good to see. I would like to see more of a healthy competition between Sony and Xbox because that just means, you know, we're going to get more games. If Xbox is like, oh, people want exclusives, then they make better content like sony does and then we get all the stuff like imagine if microsoft did four or five like sony does a year and now we're getting double the amount of cool games yeah um, microsoft's you know. only saving grace last release or last gen whatever you want to call it was when they bought all those indie franchises so their big saving grace this gen is give those franchises games like <laughs> what like they bought fifty one, I think studios or some shit like that, and we have we've had maybe seven games come out. Yeah, uh, yeah, because like like they bought the people that do Ori in the Blind Forest, and yeah. I, I just played that game this year, and that game is beautiful and fun. Oh yeah, I, I like it so much. I got the collector's edition on the Xbox for the second one. Yeah, and and you also get the I had to look it up because I couldn't remember when it came out. You get the Hellblade uh, sequel, which comes out in December. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there's a couple good lineup games if you're, if you're into games, that kind of thing. Not enough for me to buy a system. Oh yeah, that's that's totally fair. And, and the fact is, is that for us, those aren't ex like exclusive. We can't have access to by not having one. So yeah. We are all PC gamers, so we have access right. to Microsoft's library because they did do that thing where they're like our exclusives also available on Windows. Yeah, I could never see them switching off of that. That would just be weird, but because they make the money either way, you know what I'm saying? Like if you mm. buy it, they get a double dip. It. Because pretty much, I think it's the same thing. Like, uh, what was it with Gears? When uh, Phil bought a copy of it, I got to play it on uh, my PC for free, even though I didn't even buy it. Yeah, I, I, I bought it digitally through Xbox, so Something just like that. so that I could get it on PC and on Xbox at the same time, which is really cool. I, I really enjoy that. Yeah. I just wish did. you could do that with physical, because I have Gears 5 on Xbox One, because I got it for super cheap. Uh -huh. And I want to be, but I'd like to be able to play it on my PC, but I can't, because I have the physical disc. You have to, it's only works with digital copies. Meh. Who the fuck yeah. knows, but. But, we'll right. see. We shall see. But that, that pretty much wraps it up. 500 bucks, 300 bucks, November 10th. Pre-order September 22nd. Um, GameStop's doing their own little payment plan. Pay payment plan? Play payment plan? There we go. You, you got um, it. Xbox is doing it. Save up the money yourself, even though yeah. good luck in like a week or whatever it comes out. Um, Xbox. X, S, C, B, A, D, X, 2, 3, 4. Um, they're all going to be cool. I'm excited. We'll see how many they're coming out with. Like how, if inventory is going to be there, if they're going to switch. Like I'm, I'm super curious. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're watching this. But next, Ubisoft Live. Boom. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this shit. All right. Yeah. First thing they showed off, Far Cry VR. I didn't see it coming. Everybody in the chat on YouTube was roasting this shit up. Because everybody wants another, like, everybody wants another experience like the Far Cry that they showed. Because that's Far Cry 3, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, 
they saw the guy and like everybody got super hyped and then they said something about like a virtual world and everybody was like oh no <laughs> they've been everybody he was that far cry 3 is the best far cry fight me yeah that villain was the best villain fight me boss that guy even the actor who played him is like dude i'll come back bet money like i'll do more shit with y'all so like everyone's like they that it's just what it is um so yeah, yeah oh that, and then the other was thing of... was that it's not even something you can play at home it is zero latency zones only so it's you have to go to the one of the buildings like the vr arcades yes yeah. hey yeah, man that's right we need more arcade stuff bring them back yeah we need something because that we, we can, can go eat. outside yeah <laughs> we can do it next we got the phoenix immortals right um nah well it went into like the the space game that they're launching are you, are you doing the prologue shit Prologue shit, what are you talking about, though? The, the, I skipped all this. This was this is the the pre-show stuff. I mean, they I still watch, uh, they I still announced the they announced stuff, shit uh, that hadn't been announced yet gotcha. during the pre-show. Oh, okay. oh, I didn't even watch the pre. I, I, just yeah. get, I watched the meat and potatoes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean that's no, cool. You can, you, can, you can go wherever I'm with it. I'm I down. Think you shouldn't be showing game previews during your pre-show because. You're yeah. gonna miss out on your audience. I, I literally I player. turned it on. I the only reason I saw the Far Cry thing, like Brandon said, is because I was checking to see when it started and I saw the little timer that was still going. I went, Oh, it's not started yet. And I turned mm -hmm. off my YouTube on my phone and then I waited until like I would have missed like that looks kind of neat. I never would have known about oh. it unless you showed it right now. So yeah. I know I want homegirls uh hoodie or shirt Facts to come off. I mean right? to to have uh yeah, to wear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, uh, yeah, the only other shit they showed, this is a bunch of like, uh, what is this, uh, their racing game, The Crew. They showed The Crew shit, I'm just gonna breeze past all this. They showed uh, the new season for Wildlands, which I didn't even know was a game still. Uh, they showed yeah, Roller Champions, which is like, it's an interesting game. It's I don't know what it's I really think derby. about it. It's Roller Derby. But it was like a cool 4v4, like, we had boosters and shit like that. It, it seems there it is. Brandon, seems there kinda it is. cool. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's a four-player co-op game. Shut up. Not, Keep going. Going. <laughs> <laughs> not reliant on oh, aim. Uh, all right, let's see here. What else is next? There was like 90% whack shit. Uh, then the the it's four. The, it's the pre-show. Then the four <laughs> honor the shit. Show. No, I'm I'm talking about the entire event itself. It's the bands they play before the good band that you're like, well, I didn't want to see any of y'all in the first place. That's all this shit right now. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck off then. All right. <laughs> all right. We got we got a uh, Phoenix Immortals. Uh, thing, Mortal Phoenix Rising. Thing thing. All right. I'm gonna just say it. This looks like ass. I was waiting. I had to hold it in. This looks god awful. This looks. It looks like they went like a half hour after they showed what looked good at the E3 last year, and then they went, "Look, let's make Fortnite mix with Zelda and fuck it up." Like that's what this looks like to me. Did you watch Did you the guys... gameplay after the? Yeah, after. I wanted okay. to throw up. I was like, "Yo!" Like when he picked up the pomegranate and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Oh, looks so gross. It it just looks bad. It looks so bad. The combat looks like just looks ass. The world looks like ass. It, it looks like ass. It looks like <laughs> shitty fable graphics from like twenty years ago. It, it's just there's. I have nothing to say. Like God of War already ha came out. Like, I don't need this game. All right, I'm done. Y'all got it. Rant over. <laughs> I've been hold, I've been holding that uh, in since I watched right. it. All right. I I love Greek mythology. I would love for like I'm so upset someone decided to do this. An open world. Greek mythology thing and just blatantly butcher it. That well, like open world, I would also like to put like in quotes because the map did not, like when she was flying around, the map did not look that big. And when they were talking about using GPS like data to build the map, and then I saw how big it was, I was like, I, there has to be different zones that you can like go to because it didn't look that big but i don't even think the main character talks because the cr character creator mm. is everybody and i also like you know a everyone should be represented in games but i definitely feel like you know with with ubisoft it's been known many times that they got rid of female roles that should have been female roles and i think originally this was going to be a male character and they're like no throw character customization in it do it because the characters don't even look well designed like I don't know, i'm done again y'all got it yeah <laughs> yeah there's 
there's just a lot. I th- I thought initially that I would not be interested at all. There were elements because I I didn't get to play Breath of the Wild, and so I didn't get to experience this Perfection. game on a Switch. Like th- this yeah. game looks like Breath of the Wild, even like down to the laser puzzles that they're literally showing right now. Like, because I watched a playthrough of it. Uh, all of the dungeons seemed away. I think this has potential, though. I think you are sipping a little it's bit of Haterade. Uh, I think I think Josh is sipping a little too much Haterade at the moment. That g- Gorgon or Medusa, you know, whatever that was, looked god-awful. I will give you that. But I don't know. It- I- what what I was um, I was optim I don't want to interrupt Justin real quick I was optimistic oh, until I watched the goddamn after show for five seconds and saw gameplay mm-hmm. I threw up and I turned off my TV but yeah continue Justin I'm I'm on the same boat as you like it just doesn't it looks like somebody speed build this like they they took their original game and they're like yo that Zelda game looks really good let's copy paste our stuff onto that <laughs> and then that's what they did but yeah. they copy pasted what could have been something decent yeah it's like when you hit Control c and then Control v but then accidentally hit backspace a couple times and don't realize it but then keep typing that's what they did like 37 times this shit. <laughs> what? it just looks it looks dumb it looks so bad i want nothing to do with this game i'm so disappointed because i really wanted this game to be good and then they have the audacity like it comes out in december like no put that shit back don't no <laughs> On the next, yeah. We're done with this. Yo, We're and then this motherfucker shows up. They built Fucking us. Bill. They Fucking built Bill. a special <laughs> map specifically for Stadia. And I was thinking in my mind, it's like, yeah, because that's the only thing that'll fucking run on it is one tiny <laughs> island with like four missions. Yeah. That was really weird that they were like, yeah, like Stadia didn't pay for that. You think they did that for free? Yeah, <laughs> no, that was Stadia a weird was like, ass flex. Money. Yeah. It was a really um, weird ass flex. Uh, yeah, th- I don't know. There were a couple cringe factors when the gr- the lady was also talking about like the storyline, like and they had like the little joke because they made like the ogre small. And they were like, and Zeus yeah. commanded this, and it's uh, it's very strange. Again, I was with that, but then it didn't. It doesn't seem like the main character talks. No, they, they don't. Like they go, it's like, definitely. Ooh, ooh. Like, what oh, is like a the, sim? That, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's literally what it looks like. There's no way with that much character creation that they did voice acting. So it's going to be For sure. bad. They're like, we did a good job with this story. But your main character hey, doesn't talk? Link yeah. doesn't talk. Facts. Link hasn't talked in oh, no. years. <laughs> we don't need... Has we don't never need. talked. I'm yeah. going to drive to your home. I'll be there in like six, seven hours. I think <laughs> that's how far away. Yeah, it doesn't he? Wait, he's like, literally a sim because I'm pretty sure most of the time he's just going like, oh. that's what it looked like. Yeah, and I'm talking about screen, Link, like, homie. <laughs> Link, literally, that's all he does. Oh, I'll he's, be optimistic. He's, he's but a I fucking sim. Be. Once we're done everything, we'll hit the end thing where they show gameplay, and then I'm yeah. really upset. So yeah, for sure. Next, next we got Prince of Persia. Um, I, I'm excited. It definitely is more than I thought. I thought they were gonna just recolor and retexture. They definitely glow. It, it looks not as good as how um, they did the Resident Evil games because that was like almost a reimagining. But this still looks very good. Oh, um, what? <laughs> we just showed the the five second pre sex uh, scene oh, from oh, the first game. Oh, oh. oh. um. Yeah. I liked that they put remake in the title yeah. instead of remaster. Yeah. Uh, because we had that conversation like a couple weeks ago when it came to like the Crash Bandicoot stuff, all that. Like, I still need like a defined definition of what remake and remaster are because they seem so similar. Because a remaster, I kind of considered to be you're reusing the same things, you're just remastering them remake would be like all right we're starting from the fucking ground up this is the game concept this is now prince of persia sands of time reimagined remade and they redid it in the trailer uh they showed them like um yeah like the, they showed like the 2000 you know shit side by yeah, side well, well not even that the mochi cat there it is oh, the they, mocap, they showed yeah. them doing the mocap i just i didn't realize this the first time you have it paused it, it also isn't for ps5 or the new xbox Mm. Still not out there. At least on the little thing there. Yeah. Homegirl comes out, can't type on a yo, keyboard. Yo, yo, yeah, this right here, this clip right here. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 
you are a you are the lead director of this game learn your A-S-T-F. home A-S-T-F. row home A-S-T-F. girl A-S-T-F. yo what the fuck she must be playing guitar hero pc or some shit like uh, we're gonna talk about some good stuff eventually. Um, Legions looks just the, like hot fire. I already was signed up for that game, and now I'm like, I'm just annoyed man, that it it was the best thing in this, considering that we are we every started. one of us is already unanimously going to buy it. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So as you can see here, they show the original game, and then they show like new textures, and it it blatantly looks like a new game. Yeah. yeah um, so the, I think the big. Like, remake can be, because it's going to be the same story. So if you played the first one, you spoiled this game for yourself, like the original. Right. You know yeah. what happens. Um, but they redone the combat, the camera, and revamped it for modern times. Remaster would be more on the lines of, like, Resident Evil 4. Even its PS4 version is just, you know, upscaling textures. Yeah. But it's all the same. Resident Evil 2 and 3, those used to have tank controls. Now they have the Resident Evil 4 behind, 4 behind the shoulder. You know, that's so it feels completely different. Yeah, I love that they said camera angles and combat. Because that's the problem with like every old game, it's 100% camera angles. Um, and then they're like combat. Because I was like, cool. Because like Destroy All Humans came out, that looked amazing, but it played just like the old one, which some people like. I was like, I've already beat this game. Like they didn't make it any harder. So it was like, 15 years ago difficulty which i guess some people would have loved but i was like i wish they would have added a new mode to make it more difficult or something yeah um, yeah but... and then back on the camera is like the oni musha remaster that came out on ps4 recent like a year or two ago that was just like hey we're doing that they didn't change the camera angle and that game's camera sucks because i've been i actually started playing it on the ps2 again mm-hmm. and it's it can get stupid because like you're in the bottom left corner here trying to fight a boss over here yeah. but it doesn't move the camera and you can't really yeah. see where you're fighting yeah that's like t- classic tragedy of all old games am i also asking for a little too much in the fact that i guess this yeah. is alpha footage it doesn't look like it's being made in 2020 I think the textures will look a little bit more crisp once we actually get a final copy because yeah. that's all it's missing it's just missing that it's missing that like that that glaze on the donut you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. i mean even when it comes down to like it's lighting. an original donut it just needs a little powder sugar you know what I'm but, saying? It's, it's i don't a, know yeah it just needs that pat, 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 pat. i don't know there's a there's a lot in it that i like okay look at this scene like right here when they're like, pulling the thing yeah, like you're you're talking super low. I guess it could just be the alpha footage, and they just didn't feel like amping up the resolution that they were rendering out like cinematics and stuff. But like, yeah. there's a lot of like it's very poorly lit. It's got a lot of like really bad edges. I don't know. I I am maybe just asking for a lot. Like, I've just seen too many other demos this year that like. If I if you look at this and then you go and look at Watch Dogs Legion, same company, massively different. Yeah, but Watch Dogs. That's a new Legion. game. That's not a remake. So what the yeah. fuck does that matter? If it's a remake, they're, we're talking about they're remaking the whole game. They're not. They're, they're they didn't use anything from the old game to make this game. That's fair. It's not like they took the old model of the main character and were like. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, look, he's all brand new, 2020. That's but bad. Watch Dogs Legion is, is technically, like, finished. That's the it other is. thing. Like, this game the, is, the Prince of Persia is just getting started working on it. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. But next we got some more Hyperscape nonsense. Uh, and then you got the Siege World Cup, which if you're a Siege fan, that's really cool. Um, and you get the Sam Fisher, uh, you know, <laughs> the anime Sam Fisher trailer. anime. <laughs> he, he just won v fives an entire team, um, so that's cool. If, you know, you can do that in the game. But uh, the, the new Siege update did come out today, official what, live, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, so that you can play as Agent Zero himself, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, Siege World Cup is just going to be a big tournament of, you know, you, you play for your country rather than... Which is interesting if you're a Siege... I don't care. 
But if you're a competitive siege watcher, like when they do the, uh, what's it called, Brandon, in Canada, uh, that they do? The, the pro the big league? tournament. The, what's the, is there, there's a pro league, the ending have like a big, like what's it called? It's just called the pro league finals. Okay, yeah, the pro league finals in Canada every year, like imagine that, and it's interesting because all those people that are on those teams that you know won't mm -hmm. be playing together because it'll be, they're not all from the same place. Right. Um, just like in, you know, there's like, um, uh, who's the guy that they partnered with in the NBA? I can't, I can't remember. He shows up on. The oh screen. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tony just, Parker. Yeah, Tony Parker. Thank you. And it's just the like in the team. NBA, because once they all play in America, but then once the Olympics start, they're like, <laughs> and they disperse and then mm -hmm. play each other. So it's it's cool. I think that'll be interesting, but I don't watch too much competitive games like that. So, Not but I think that. I think you that'd be your jam. But um, yeah, I mean they do it. They do the same thing with like league they do the same thing with like a lot of games right now is after the compet after the org the organization teams play each other during the event then they go to like na versus eu and even the eu yeah. players who play in na have to play against their teammates that kind of thing yeah but yeah yeah keeping it pushing we got the uh scott pilgrims and this was on i don't remember what original console this was but people were like asking about know. this like they were asking about this for like two months ago. I saw a rumor that this game might get redone and come back out again. Wasn't this um, PS3 and 360? Yeah, yeah, I think. And this this was written by the same guy that did the the um was it a graphic novel? Is that what it is? This yeah. this is a graphic novel. I'm pretty yeah. sure he like had his hand into this, so it's it was mm. like kind of a near and dear thing. Um, I don't mm. really care. I didn't even like the movie, but whatever. Um, yeah, it, it looks, looks like cool, a It looks fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down with it. But yeah, before, this could have been on the prologue if you know what I'm saying. This could have been, <laughs> Yo, this could then, have been pretty then this bullshit was Stormy's. Get this man out. I get he's like the Drake of oh, London, stop. but oh, stop, it's fine. He's getting it. He's like, Yeah, bruv, bruv, one, two, bruv, three, bruv, four, bruv, five, bruv. But oh, like okay. they hyped it up way too. They were like, play the play the stormy mission, like, and then they give like a date and stuff like that. Like people are gonna be droving to go buy a new console to play. Yeah, the one mission where he mission exists from, in the uh, game. Music video. Yeah. So like we already this is Watch Dogs now. We already talked about this. This is unfortunately the best thing they showed at this thing. Um, but we already saw like four other sets of gameplay from this. So that sucks. A little bit but i already know i'm getting this game now i'm like yep i'm getting this game even more like how they they showed how you recruit people they showed a lot of stuff and i was with it yeah the different abilities that each different pe person carries with them is really neat yeah and then i like how they then spun that into but you get all these other things that everybody can get and it was like a fucking 40 mm -hmm. by 40 grid of guns and shit yeah um, so that was cool because i was a little nervous because the just it seemed a little basic this is the bee chick she throws bees she has a bee gun and i was like that ah, seems a little basic and one-sided so i was like i'm glad you can customize it i think the one thing too i don't think they they didn't really talk about it but i think the way that you get those is by collecting people and then you acquire yeah. what their unique thing was and then you can customize yeah i'm mm -hmm. straight up army of grannies perfectly set up talking robo spiders talking grannies yeah. with bees assassins assassin grannies who have a hiccup problem that was weird. That I wonder was, if that, I thought that was really thing. funny. I wonder if that's a real thing because it was like, huh? and like, yeah, that's crazy to me. So How people I mean, have, they like, were, people they have like saying, a negative effect. Yeah, because they were saying like that you could get this old guy, but he's like not agile. Yeah. So mm -hmm. having him do something like that, he'll you know fall down and stuff when you shouldn't be able to, like when somebody who is agile wouldn't. So yeah, I, I hope it's true because like it'd just be the funniest thing. Well, in the world. Remember, they talked a while ago. This about the uh, another old guy like you can play as like old people you have to be careful like some stressful situations can like give them a heart attack and they'll just die on you like you can be running a mission and like get shot at and the old person will just like grab their chest and like fall over I, just, like... So awesome. I just want to see all my grandmas in the cutscene. like when the dude jumps out of the balcony i just want that to be a little old lady who has to just like is yeet it, up the the is it weird i also this might be this is me nitpicking i hate the ui for the abilities when these characters with the abilities i i I think that, they're just my like, nitpicking. Well, I don't I think, think that that's going to be like real. This. They're just showing it like this so it can be like, hey, look, here's a quick glimpse of how I don't know, man. It I don't literally think says, save, recruit, RB. 
I think you walk by with your phone and you can see that and then be like, oh, I want to try to recruit them now or I might come back to them later, save recruit. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's I what think, pops I think it, it might be that, but it might be way down. It just the looks way. cheap and cheesy to me. Like, the, the I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm nitpicking as fuck right now. That's cool. I'm with it, but I like that it helmet. It may run a lot smoother in the final game. Yeah. Slash, I, I hope they have a lot of helmets. That is the thing. I could see them having like 20 of, but I hope they have like a billion. Just a billion helmets. And y'all already know this is my main girl right here. Uh <laughs> this is the <laughs> her paintball gun if you want to go in and just stun enemies. Paintballs don't hurt that much. She'll yeah. get shot. Like I don't yeah, you shoot a grown man with a real gun with a paintball gun, he's gonna turn around and fuck you up. <laughs> no. And then she like sprays a dude in the face. Yo, with when she, when she, cl when she clings him in the head with the damn ca paint canister, I, I felt that. I felt it so badly because they even gave like, quiet. They even had like the. <laughs> I was like shit. Yeah, this is the other thing that also had me a little bit iffy. Like I, I'm just really nervous it's gonna get repetitive. You walk up, hey, my grandma's sick. Oh, go get you yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be some Spider-Man shit. Well, everybody gets yeah. one. <laughs> You yeah, gotta go do their mission. I just don't want to get repetitive. That's fair. I just don't want that to be repetitive. <laughs> you know, I I just don't want it to be, or I want the missions to be unique and feel like smooth. And I just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's gonna have a lot of replayability, but not yeah, a whole lot of mission selection. Cool. You think? Yeah. Every, every mission that they've shown and granted they've only ever shown like a few seconds of it it's always somebody like tasing somebody or knocking somebody out yeah uh, we haven't really seen any like it's all like the one driver and then this guy over here <laughs> fucking hiccup <laughs> that shit is funny it's just like what i like how they all look at him like motherfucker what uh, we'll see. I'm really excited for it, but it is it is a little salty. Um... Oh, I, I got stuck into the future. I looked at the next topic and was about to move on. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to let the thing flow. If you, you can skip to it, the uh, what's his name? Aiden Pierce. Thank you. That guy. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, Aiden the Pierce. I was, yeah, I was moving. I literally was moving on to that and about to bring it up. And I was like, I don't know if you all wanted to say anything before we talk about this. No. Nah. I no. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't really do much for me. So it's about to be Phoenix number I, two. I think it's cool, but I, I don't want to pay for a character. Yeah. All right, my turn. These motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, I was really excited. Like when they showed the jacket, I was like, oh shit, son. And then they they showed his face all old. I was like, oh shit. And then they were like, coming soon in our paid season pass DLC. Yo. I was like, yo, fuck you. I am okay if they do this kind of shit in the background and don't let me know about it. But when games aren't out yet and you're telling me like you already have like five super DLCs planned and if they're planned, they're, I see him on the screen. There he is. Just put those missions in the fucking game. Like that'd be so cool if I didn't, they didn't mention it. And then there's a mission towards the end where he just shows up. He's like, hey, motherfucker, you need some help. Mind blown. That's awesome. Yeah. But instead they use so, it as a money grab. Yeah. yeah. How long has this game been delayed? Uh, a while. It was supposed to come wow, out right? March, why last March. Fuck? Why are they even doing yes. DLC? Let's burn this motherfucking down! <laughs> yeah. so we played and we have more development time now due to the pandemic. Yup. Just put it in the game. Be like, hey, guess what? When you buy this, you get everything. Yep. But they're like, yep. nah, we're gonna make you pay for this person. Uh huh. I've never agreed with Phil so more in my life. This is bad, the best. Because it, <laughs> it's the best, and now I'm even more mad because Phil makes so many valid points. Like, yeah, yeah. it's about March 2019. I'm I'm pretty sure, and it's just like, bro, like, yeah. Oh, this is just the most blatant cash grab ever, and that would have been <laughs> such a cool story point if, like, you're like, we need to hack this thing. Da -da -da. We know a guy, and then this fucker pulls up in a car and gets out with the jacket. Oh, uh, like, they, and they didn't tell you that. That would have been so. That would have been. I don't want to ruin it. I was going to say I got a war moment, but it's an old game, but I still want to ruin it. Mm. Um, oh, whatever. It's got a war yeah, moment. When when homie gets... Never mind. I'm going to say it. <laughs> that, that is a, that's a beautiful like, story point, and it's great for everybody who knows the thing. You know? Like, yeah. oh, you're, you're always like, oh, wow, that's... Like, he's here or something. Like, Or if an enemy shows up at an inappropriate time or an opportune mm -hmm. time, and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. crap. That's them. We need to do something. 
then they're just like, guess what? It's it, the, he's going to be in it, but it's DLC, and you have to yeah. pay for it. I was like, this is something I'm not going to pay for. Yeah, I, I immediately, yeah, I immediately got upset. Like when they showed the backdrop into the jacket, I got I got so excited. I was like, that's fucking cool that they would do that. And then his he's aged and bet, and then the, the homeboy came on the screen talking about some yeah get our season pass bullshit like get your shit out of here i'm not paying for that you should just that should just be in your fucking game bro yeah. I, and it was even made me more mad because i don't it's like a separate story so it's not even gonna be in the original game i think it's gonna be like in its own tab you pay no it's for its, its own it. thing yeah. exactly so they even made it separate and they're like yo pay us 20 bucks i guess it's just like yo y'all are on crack y'all are tripping so that's the only thing I was. Really no, they frustrated. need you to buy the DLC so they can buy crack. Oh, apparently, <laughs> they're like, out. You're gonna, delay a game. you're gonna delay a game a year and then try to come out with all this DLC. I just don't like when DLC is that planned, and I don't like I don't like when they're transparent with it. Like when Spider Man came out, and we already knew what the next three, they already, they, they, they dropped the roadmap. It was like a month after the game came out, they already had the first DLC come out. I was like, yo, just that should just be in the game. Like DLC a year later bet don't do dlc within like a year or yeah. six months i just think it's blatantly like obvious like they make the game and then they go all right this game's done now let's start working on the dlc already like it's just like yo yeah, yeah you gotta be on that horizon where everybody's just begging for like a few more missions and then you drop like yeah. a whole fucking expansion on them exactly yeah i just feel like that's a little dirty but i'm still excited for the game but yeah yeah, but uh, last but not least, we got Steep. That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't care. <laughs> it's oh it's, yeah, that's literally what I thought it was. I thought this is a I did, steep I also expansion. thought it was Steep. I was like, <laughs> this yeah. I, I I own Steep. Steep is a very fun game. Um, so I'm I wouldn't probably buy this, but if it ever became like twenty bucks, I might pick it up because the graphics on this motherfucker. Did y'all see the scene when he was on the bike when they showed actual in-game footage? It looked really good. Oh, it going to like, that narrow, like, mountain top? Yeah, that yeah, mountain that top looked, looked really real. Good. It looked real. So, like, I would get this game for, like, half off. I probably wouldn't pay 60 for it, but I, I like Steep. It was a, it's a fun game, like, uh, straight up. Um, Doesn't Steep have, like, the little gliders, too? So it's, a, it's really... Not since the, when this... I played it. Don't no, they, have, like, the, they have the paragliders, don't they? Uh, yeah, and they do. You're right. Yeah. I forgot. I mainly it's in the beta, and that's the only thing I played of it. <laughs> Yeah, this this really, and they talked about it being like open to like the community. Like you have, I guess, like yeah. community servers. That's how steep yeah. is. Yeah, that's yeah. how steep is. Okay, okay. So yeah, so it's he just called it, he he legitimately called it an MMO on the beginning of the video. Okay. And look, like this scene right here, um, it looks so good. Like look at the, that. The rocks look real. Like it looks really good. The only, just, the only thing with games like Steep and maybe this game, just because I've played a lot of like Skate and I've played yeah. a lot of like Freestyle Metal X, like bike games mm -hmm. like that, the the way that they were doing the moves in this game were very odd. Like, there seemed like some sort of delay. It was like when he's like in the air and then all of a sudden it's just like, you know, back tailspin. And then the way that he land, I don't know, there's no penalty, like, it seemed like you couldn't fall, like some Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 type shit, where it's just like, as oh, long man. as you weren't pressing a button when you hit the ground, your character just like, yeah. the animation was I just like, I'm too. here. <laughs> and if you can't get attacked yeah. by these bears, uh, I will not play. Yeah. I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I uh, also you... really like the fact that they went through, like, all the state parks across America, and like, and yeah. all the state parks and like use them in the game as yeah. locations yeah it's pretty cool uh we're getting a little long in, in the days here so you want to skip to the at least a couple images of this thing so i can yell at it a little bit more there you go man um, go ahead and then look at these look at this shit look at the d-pad look how look just look at it that's look at the combat. Game. Look at the combat. Look that's at the combat. Okay. Okay. Look at that okay. combat. Okay. I, okay. My, I'm looking, not even gonna say looking. anything. Looking. I'm gonna let the combat just prove for itself. This looks stupid. Looking. This looks, Does it this look looks better like than Godfall? This reminds me of Fable One. That's what this Fable One or Two for the 360. This is that's what this game reminds me of. Like like verbatim. The and, uh, he also better. whiffs two of these arrows, and that annoyed the shit out of me. 
back to back, just whiffs two arrows and then gets smacked by this rock. Like Justin said, it looks like a mobile game. Like if yeah. I saw this on a, uh, on my phone, I'd be like, all right, cool. It looks so bad. It looks like it takes no skill. Ugh. What could have been is what I, this is going to go down as a big old flop if you ask me. I can't see anyone interested in this fucking game. I can't see anyone interested in this game. If you are, I'm going to yell at you. I don't care. <laughs> Look at it. You just fly up and you're just hitting. You're just hitting a button. You're just tapping a button. You're not now. You stunned him. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, uh, re releasing irrelevant. Let's go. <laughs> Game's coming out this week. Uh, I hope you guys liked the Ubisoft event. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, obviously, I got angry just now. I apologize. This is this is a light week though for games. Um, really light. Just of everything. I don't know. But yeah, we got Circuit Dude coming out for the Switch September seventh. That is three days ago. Uh, this one we're just gonna say Invector Encore Edition. I'm not right. saying the part in front. For the Avicii? Avicii. Avicii. The Avicii. The. It's all capped, and I don't know if it was like half Roman numeral or something. Brand new. Is, is it? Is it the singer? I didn't know it was actually the, the artist. Yeah, 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 the DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, we got Kingdoms of Amalar Re Reckoning. Oh, you'll 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 say that. <laughs> I, I honestly thought it was the like Kingdom some... of Avalon. <laughs> Leave me alone. It comes out on PC, PS4, and Xbox on September 8th. You got the Minecraft DLC, uh, Creeping Winter. Comes out for everything but Stadia. I want to play that. It's you and you alone. Uh, we got <laughs> Necro the Dungeon. Ultra, it's not regular Minecraft. Under Hive Wars, uh, PC, PS4, and Xbox, September 8th. Okunoka Madness uh, comes out for PC, PS4, Xbox, and the Switch, September 8th. Uh, the Controversial. Sims 4 uh, Star Wars Journey to Batu game pack uh, comes out September 8th for PC, PS4, and Xbox. Uh, you got the Outer Worlds DLC, which looks pretty cool. <laughs> comes out September 91. No. Uh, PC, PS4, and Xbox <laughs> September 9th. Uh, the Borderlands, uh, I believe, final DLC. Is that what they said, right? Uh, am I crazy on that? The I think so. Again. And the Fantastic Buster Cluck. Buster <laughs> Cluck. PC, PS4, Xbox. That comes out today. Uh, we got Bounty Battle, comes out for PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch today. Hot Shot Racing, PC, PS4, Xbox, Switch today. Astronauts comes out on PC today. Uh, you got Redneck Ed, Astro Monster Show. Ooh, ah, uh, comes out on PC today. Uh, do we ever figure out what this was? The Vampire uh, Vampire: the Masquerade, Shadow of New York? Because that's no. not two. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not, not the Masquerade. It's not two. It's not I feel like it's its own, like, small standalone thing, kind of like how, yeah. uh... Like Grand Theft Auto, like Chinatown Wars. I feel like yeah. it's one of those things. Gotcha. But that came out today for everything but the studio. And then you got Inertial Drift. Comes out for PC, PS4, Xbox, and the Switch tomorrow. Um, uh, to highlight, I would say Borderlands DLC. Um, uh, and maybe the Outer World. It's just DLCs. Nothing major came out really yeah. today. Um, or this week, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of I, good DLCs. I think this Masquerade thing is a uh, tale, like... Like the a tail, the, vis the visual graphic novel. Yep. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah tales. So yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. A little prequel. Uh, but yeah, baby boy Phil, hit us with that cheat code. Oh. Well, it's it's not a cheat code. It's a little Easter egg. It's Ooh. essentially bloodlines within bloodlines of Vampire the Masquerade bloodlines, the first one. Um, there are several places, um, such as the Santa Monica House, beach house in the game, or the Ground Zero. Um, there's a fictional video game console that can be found and paused on it is a game which is actually original footage of Vampire Masquerade the Bloodlines with a little paused thing uh, pasted on top of it. I'm really excited for that sequel and that is cool. I and hope I, I like it. I saw this and I just, I, I always like this because um, uh, Last of Us Part 2, there are parts in the game where you can see a PS3 uh, laying around with all the un Uncharted games, like stacked and stuff like that. So I, I enjoy when um, games do things like that with little Easter eggs of old games or old versions of a game inside the game. Yeah, that money. That almost wraps it up. This was a pretty productive week. What <laughs> are we playing? How do we want to do this? We got Phil, Justin, Bray, and me. Do we want to do the traditional square? What are y'all thinking? It doesn't matter. Go ahead, Phil. Run down the line. Billy Phil. Okay, what am I playing? Uh, I've been playing Diabolical. I've been playing Quake. I've been playing Apex. And a little Borderlands 3. Wait, on PC? Um, you have yeah, to be, right? on PC. I, I've been thinking about buying it. Maybe we could do... 
Is that a four That's player four game? <laughs> four players. I'll buy it right now. He's not wrong, but it's a four player game. To be fair, Josh says he'll play co op with you and Vault Wasting. I won't. And then has I, I won't. And then I won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he's not wrong. I'll just be like, uh, a lot of work. No, but th that's what I'm playing. Cool. Nice play. We're back um, in the cube, so it's Justin. God damn. Back in cube form. Oh, cube form now. Uh, I've been just Apex, really. Not super crazy. Um, I want to get back into hyperscape, but their anti cheat system sucks, so it's just full of hackers. But, uh. I'm sorry. It is. It's terrible. I did, Brandon. You did. Yeah, yeah, show it off. Let me see it. This Dude. was a seven day print. It is from the game that all of you hate. It starts. <laughs> Now that model was only five hundred dollars, but he got to print it. <laughs> that, that is great. That was seven days. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's impressive. Printed in multiple pieces. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, "Where? How but, did you uh, just? That's so big." Yeah. Nah, yeah, it was a seven-day print. Uh, called a Drake. If Drake's a caterpillar, it's like a cargo ship in the game. Nice. Drake's are you gonna caterpillar. Paint, are you gonna paint it, or what are you gonna do? Yeah, with I'm it? gonna get some paint for it and just try to get painted. Solid. Can we, can we talk about how Justin looks like he's like on the set of the Blair Witch? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it did get dark quite quickly. Yeah, that shit got dippy I keep, dark. I keep everything in night mode because if I don't have it, in night <laughs> including mode, his life, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I would too. If I could. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Even the can is in night mode. <laughs> you got the truly. <laughs> the truly. Shut this thing down. The right big, the the big fucking <laughs> flex right there. Uh, I played a little bit of Diabolical with Phil. We, you know, we hit top 100, you know, uh, so that was pretty cool. Top 100 in uh, 2v2 arena, um, the Rocket Arena. And then uh, I tried to play some Valorant today, but y'all a bunch of bitches. Uh, and so like then we it. played some Don't Apex. Like uh, I was I should have uninstalled that game a long time ago. <laughs> the, only, the only comment I made is when you had your crosshair on somebody, shot, 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 shot. I think you hit them. It said you hit them once in your yeah, cursor. Hit them once. That's but, the only time I was like, I like But that's game. my battle. That's my battle. Let me decide if I'm going to. No, I'm just joking. No, the, we've, uh, we've been having some fun. You know, we've just been playing some games and chilling. But uh, Josh, what have you been doing? Uh, you know, playing with you guys, getting back into Apex a little bit, you know, playing some Wasteland 3, not with Justin. Not co-op. Uh, not co-op. Uh, that's the, the Warhammer Three Kingdoms DLC that came out uh, last week. I've been playing that a little bit. Not as much as I should be. It's been a busy week. I haven't played too many games, but those are the ones I'm, I'm mainly playing. Uh, I picked up Ghost the other day. I need to beat that. I'm like halfway through, so I need to finish that so that don't happen in my life. But mainly Wasteland 3, playing shooters with y'all and a little Warhammer. Uh, to, or total war games in general thrown in there. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's it, you know. Keep it real simple and smooth. Real simple. No, yeah, that's dope. But that, yeah, that about wraps it up. Uh, let us know in the comments or anywhere what you guys thought of the Xbox releases, the dates, the prices, the pre-orders. Are you getting it? Which, If so, which one are you getting? Uh, what were you excited about the Ubisoft event? Um, or did you like the Phoenix Immortals? If you did, cool. Let me know why. Uh, are you still excited about Watch Dogs? What else enticed you? That's about it. Thanks for yeah. watching. Yeah. See you next week. Appreciate Later. it. Later, dudes. Bye-bye.